What a sensational bank. Look at this fish just here. Oh, ate it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, not five casts after that last big one. This one's just chomped it. G'day everyone and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures video. We are in Tasmania, we're chasing brim. I absolutely love Tasmanian brim fishing because there's so many places you can do it. They grow really big down here and I just really love brim fishing. So we're down on the Derwent, we've got a beautiful bank to fish and what's a little bit different about this time um, is I don't have a boat so I'm just going to do some land based fishing I've got the ever reliable Z-Man grub if I had to choose one lure, one confidence lure to fish for brim anywhere across Australia it would be a 2.5 inch um, Z-Man grub in motor oil so we've got a beautiful bank to fish um, the tide is up so we're going to be fishing a dropping tide and hopefully we can find some of those big Tassie brim. I've just started with a 1 12th ounce head and I've simply cast out and been hit straight away. That's crazy. I don't think it was a brim though. I thought the 1 12th ounce head um, I'd be able to cast a little bit easier off the bank, so if I think it's sinking a little bit quickly, I might change to the 1 16th, but I think the 1 12th is a good option. And look at that, pants straight away. I should really rig my plastic a bit different so it doesn't get pants, I might do that. So what I've done there is you can just pull the end of the plastic over and because it's that Elastitec um, construction you can just pull it over the eye of the hook just give it a rub with your fingernail and that'll just expose the um, the eye of the hook there and that stops the plastic from coming off it's a good little trick One. I'm guessing that's a brim Solid run. Oh, got me on the rocks, I reckon. Nice. It's been ticking along. It actually came into this little cove here. It was first cast in there. It's such a telling thing with brim, I think. I don't know if they're there, particularly fishing off the shore, you're going to get them pretty quickly. Nice fish. Some good chunk. Chunk of a brick. Check him out. Went with the Z-Man grub. It's just such a fish catcher, particularly with brimming. So putting on a confidence bait early is definitely the way to go. But we're on the board with the Tassie River Derwent brim. That is awesome. Do it for a second. Off he goes. Quick interlude to go put my waders on. I wasn't sure whether I was going to need them, but it's definitely going to make it easier.
one. Actually hit it a couple of times. Where are your bigger buddies? They gotta be along here. Last time I was here, there were some giants along here, so it's only a matter of time before one of them comes along. A little boat weight coming past now. But definitely, definitely getting more bites and stuff as the tide's starting to move around a bit. Oh, get knocked off the rocks here. Knock some barnacles off, waves. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, definitely, definitely starting to crank up as the tide is turning. That's a bit better one. That's a nice one. Oof, very nice. Oof. He's a lot bigger than what I thought. Oh, he's trying to leader him. That is a chunk. Check that one out. That is awesome. He'd be eh, mid 30s, I reckon mid 30s or so. Z Man Grub. It's nothing quite as effective. Come on. That's a Z Man Grub. Alright, there he goes. That is a beautiful fish. Beautiful river derwent. Brim. Alright dude, off you go. That's two in as many casts. It's a beautiful sort of deep ledge here. Whereas back there is a bit shallow. There's actually a big school of bait coming past here now. There's heaps of oysters. It's a very obvious spot for brim to be feeding and once you get that current moving everything gets stirred up everything gets put into feed mode so what i'm doing the retrieve is just getting that lure out sinking it on a slightly tight line so i can feel the bites and then once it's down to the bottom you'll see that line just go slack a little bit and once it's down, you can just give it a couple of flicks, wind up the slack, let it sink down again. Because a lot of the time, like that, you'll get your bites on the drop. Another flathead. Just gonna make a slight change. I'm gonna try a copper penny. Had a few had a few fish on motor oil, it's been really good. I've gone through a little bit of a quiet patch the last sort of 15 minutes or so, so why not try a different colour? See how that one goes. <laughs> Get back into it. A giant mullet. That's cool. <laughs> Don't often catch them. Hey! Oh, check out him. Another different species. That is very cool. That was like second cast in the same spot with that different colour. Oh, taking it back. Well, it's been a pretty good start, really. Some nice brim, that cool mullet, a um, hundred flathead, which I don't really enjoy catching because they're so spiky. But we're just ticking along this bank, and there's so much to do, which is, yeah, the really cool thing about um, Tassie and the, the Derwin and all these places is there's just so much water to fish.
yeah oh that is a good one oh don't bust me off man i can feel him around the rocks oh. whoa holy cow that was a good first run <laughs> he almost smoked me oh that was so epic <laughs> oh just cast up and you can see all these rocks are so covered in barnacles oh that was just so much fun man did that just cream and go belting off oh nice fish nice fish get him in some safer water bring him over here very cool that is awesome beautiful bronze one nice nice that was what i wanted to catch there he is what a chunk of a brim and my leader is absolutely destroyed he just ran through absolutely everything that was so much fun grubs back in there actually i've been fishing that copper penny and i got that fish straight away but then you know i went a little while and hadn't had a bite so i thought i'd change back to this had one follow-up and the next one absolutely smashed it that is wicked really stoked with that beautiful That is a belter, absolute belter, yeah, <laughs> look at the size of that, that is a cracking, cracking Derwent brim that didn't even fight, but I don't really care because the last one pretty much ran me through the muscle beds and out again, that is just a tank, big Derwent Bruiser that is so cool to get it land based and it's really not that difficult Tasmania's brim fishery is quite underrated compared to its trout fishery but all you need to do is grab a pack of Z-Man grubs come and walk the banks it is so much fun and when there's fish available like this there is really no reason not to that is awesome we'll get him back in absolute chunk chunk of a fish okay. off he goes that is beautiful so the setup i've been throwing is the helios sx spin i've gone for the two to four kilo um, a little bit uh, more grunt to punch lures out off the bank it's a seven footer I've got the size 20 HSX um, and that is loaded like I said before with some four pound platypus super braid I really like a brightly colored braid for this sort of style of fishing because um, you need to be able to see your line and what it's doing and my leader is just a bit of 10 pound platypus fluorocarbon and that's about it Z-Man grub and uh, you're in the money for some big brim. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen to that drag scream. <laughs> I pulled up here. And I was like, look at all the food <laughs> on the shore. It's got to be a prime spot for a big one. And that is exactly what was there. Look how bronze he is. Oh, cracking fish. Man, how good is Tasmania for brim fishing? That is awesome. Oh, such a good fish. Well, that's my morning made. That is spectacular. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Such good conditioned fish. All right, dude, in you come. Over the barnacles, the muscle beds. Look at him, he is a ripping 
ripping Tassie rip. Well, not five casts after that last big one. This one's just chomped it. <laughs> what a cracking fish. A bit more feisty than the last one. They're just such thick, healthy fish. It's a really amazing system, the Derwent. Full of beautiful brim, and if you go up further, the trout fishing's amazing. There's so much to do here. It's just so much fun. That is really, really cool. All right, you can go back in, dude. Thanks for eating that grub. Yeah, yeah. That was nice eat just off this real deep edge here. Right into the hurricane. Ah. Oh. And he came off. <laughs> I saw him there. It was a very cool bite, just letting it sink right down and then it just tick and he had it but obviously not well enough. Holy dooly. Oh, don't come off, don't come off. <laughs> don't come off. Feels heavy. Waves crashing in. I can see a bommy out there. Ah, oh, just got him around it. Oh man, what a bronze bruiser. That is epic. <laughs> Dropped a couple, got one to stick. That is very nice. Oh, now, we work out how to get off of here. In amongst all the muscles. Missed a couple, well, I dropped a couple got this bang of a stick they are just such consistently good sized fish down here in Tasmania I can't stress it enough if you love brim fishing you've got to get yourself to Tasmania what a ripper you ready buddy he's ready Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, I just saw that fish flash right in the shallows and when I chucked the plastic in there like five of them came along. <laughs> that was pretty specky, that was pretty specky. They just give themselves away with that beautiful bronze flank. That was awesome. Shows you how, you know, how much they're sitting right on the edge like that. He is just a chunky, chunky specimen. How good are Z-Man grubs? Like, really? Motor oil is without a doubt the highest uh, catch, brim catching lure I have ever used. If I could only have one, it would definitely be a Z-Man grub in motor oil. Oh, he's going to get slammed. What a sensational bank. Look at this fish just here. Oh, ate it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how good was that? <laughs> I felt one ticking it and then looked down and there's one like right in front of me. 
Man, did he just crunch that? <laughs> oh, what a fish. Oh, I think that's my favorite fish of the morning. <laughs> oh, that was pretty special. You, another beautiful Derwent brim. Oh, and I'm just on the biggest, the biggest mussel bed. Come on, dude. Oh, just up there, chomping down on all the mussels. Sitting up high, eating the mussels. <laughs> They are in very, very good condition and it's so easy to understand because there is so many mussels that just littered all over the rocks and so much food. Such a healthy system. Very cool, very cool Tasmanian brim. Well dude, you can go back to go back to what you're doing. Well, what an awesome morning session on the brim. The Derwent is just a spectacular brim fishery and I just can't recommend enough. If you're coming down to Tassie, make sure you bring a light spin rod, grab yourself some grubs and you will have a ball. There's so much opportunity for a land-based angler. You really don't need a boat to come and do this. If you enjoyed the video make sure you like it leave a comment and if you don't want to miss any of the vids please subscribe it helps the channel to grow a lot i've got a little bit of a walk back to the car but who cares it's been an awesome morning i'll catch you next time